Dear clients, I'm Richard, Assistant Dealing Manager from Philips CFD. US equity market had a brilliant post Brexit recovery last week, lifting most US equity benchmarks back into the black year to date, with the notable exception of Nasdaq Composite, which was still lagging behind in the red. It seems that US equity investors had swept aside the lingering precedes related political economic uncertainty for now and was attempting to climb up the global wall of worries. Indeed, encouraging economic market news flows had instilled investor confidence and drove global equity risk on sentiment since last Tuesday. For instance, US first quarter 16 GDP growth estimate was revised higher and US consumer confidence also leapfrogged ahead of market expectations. Furthermore, it was noted from several market commentators that speculation pro for procedural delay in the former Brexit as well as market shock covering also supported last week's market upturn. Cross-market price actions similarly suggested that investor sentiment might have regained its footing to allow risk on markets to grind higher. For example, the 10-year US Treasury yield rebounded higher late last Friday post Brexit's inspired flight to safety, which earlier on had sent this benchmark yield to land at its all-time low of 1.4%. VIX, the so-called equity fear barometer, has since tumbled approximately 40% from a Brexit high of approximately 26 level to below the 15 handle. Looking forward, should investors continue to sell into the post brexit relief rally or consider grabbing this buy on dip chance for investing opportunities into second half of 16? In my opinion, this episode of political economic uncertainty may ironically bring out the brighter side of things in the near term. It could it could well be the trigger that nudge global central banks feed back onto the easing accelerator and hence spur risk on momentum back into the markets. Clients may consider using Philip CFD and Philip ETF to capitalize on global trading opportunities in both rising as well as falling markets. This is all for today and hope to see you soon in our next round of market commentary. Thanks for watching.